I just realized what the D stands for in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Don't watch it! Man, this tournament feels longer than any given Metal Gear Solid cutscene, and only slightly less interactive. But at least we're on our way to the Battle City Finals. I sure hope we don't encounter any more intrusive subplots. Did somebody say intrusive subplot? Oh, son of a bitch! Kawaii -ha! Hello, I'm Jean-Claude Magnum. You may remember me from such films as Teenage Space Ninjas from Outer Space, Devil Ninja vs. Santa Claus, and Devil Ninja 2, Electric Boogaloo. OMG, Jean-Claude Magnum? I'm your number one drooling idiot fanboy. Hey, do you mind if I start incessantly quoting all your movies? Because I really, really, really like doing that. My Valentine, I'd recognize that cleavage anywhere. Wow, my. I can't believe you're being seduced by my favorite thinly veiled parody of a Belgian kickboxer, you should ask him to autograph your boobs. Ooh, better idea! Ask him to autograph my boobs. I've been stalking you for the past year, Mai. Ever since you beat me in a children's card game, I haven't been able to get you out of my head. Sorry, pal, but I already have a love interest. Who's that, Mai? Is it Tristan? It's Tristan, isn't it? For the love of God, tell me it ain't Tristan. It's you, Joey. But you're ten years older than me. I know. Creepy, isn't it? Actually, this is the closest thing the show has to a normal relationship. You may be a cradle robber, my, but I still want you to be my wife. What do you say, sugar tits? I know how she feels. Guys are proposing to me all the time. Duke, I already told you I was joking. Sorry, Jean-Claude, but I would never marry somebody so selfish and superficial. But my, isn't that exactly what you were like in season one? Face it, the only difference between the two of you is about 20 pounds of silicone. My breasts are not fake. Right! right. I don't believe you. If you won't marry me, my, then I'm gonna cheat challenge you to a duel. And if you lose, you have to become my wife. I accept for no adequately explored reason. Hey, I have a rather pertinent question. What does any of this have to do with anything? Seriously, aren't we trying to save the world from imminent destruction by vaguely evil forces? When did the love life of my Valentine become so freaking important? Is the next plot point going to revolve around Bakora's stamp collection? I summon my- It just pisses me off is all. I summon my Amazon Warrior in attack mode. Your Amazon Warrior is no match for my army of celebrity ninjas. Why is everybody in this guy's deck a f***ing ninja? Come on, Mai. I know you can beat this ass clown. But Joey, I thought you were Jean-Claude Magnum's biggest fan. Why the sudden change of heart? I've tried to deny it, Yug, but I can't hold it back anymore. I think I felt this way from the moment I first laid eyes on her. You mean... Yes, I am in love with my Valentine breasts. Even if they are about as real as a $3 bill. My breasts are not fake. Right! I don't believe you. When I win this card game, we'll be married, my. But you won't just be marrying me. You'll be marrying the Church of Scientology. That's right, baby cakes. I'm a member of the Hollywood cult, just like every other deluded celebrity you used to like. Such as Isaac Hayes, Jason Lee, and Rufus the Naked Mole Rat. Oh, that's just what this franchise needed. Another brainwashing evil cult. Seriously, that's what, five now? When I grow up, I wanna be just like my Serenity, if I didn't pay for your eye surgery, what the hell makes you think I'm gonna pay for breast implants? My breasts are not right. right! I don't believe you! I don't care if your breasts are fake, my. I just want you to be my wife. And also for you to pledge millions of dollars to the Church of Scientology so that we can finally defeat the evil galactic overlord Xenu and protect the hapless Thetans all over the world from being thrown into volcanoes! So let me get this straight. The only characters on this show who represent America are Jean-Claude Magnum, Rebecca Hawkins, Maximilian Pegasus, and Bandit Keith. Is it just me, or is Yu-Gi-Oh! the most xenophobic show ever? I play Cyber Harpies, destroy his remaining life points! I can't believe you beat me for a second time! I can't believe we found a duelist even worse than mine! I can't believe we actually acknowledge this worthless episode. I can't believe it's not Buddy! If you won't marry me, then I'm going to kidnap you instead! Since that appears to be the default response to anything on this show. A deceitful Scientologist? Who would have thought? Come to me, Mai! We have to appear on 
on Oprah so that I can proclaim my love to you while jumping on her couch like a giant infant. Jeez, lady, those fake boobs are heavy. My breasts are not fake. She's going to fall to her untimely death. What would L. Ron Hubbard do? I see London, I see France, I see my Valentine's underpants. Joey, stop gawking at my nethers and save my butt. Aw, can I do both? Just shut up and catch me. Okay, but whatever you do, don't let go until I say- <laughs> It finally happened. I killed a man with my breasts. So my, I don't suppose you're still sore about that whole attempted kidnapping thing, are you? Sorry, Jean-Claude asshole, but I'd rather have fake breasts than a fake religion. Looks like you win this round, Xenu. Thanks for saving my life, Joey. Think I am be having the concussions now. Now we can finally walk down this road and go to the Battle City Finals, which is exactly what we were doing before we were sidetracked by this redundant sh** fest of an episode. Why is everybody on this show a f do list. What is that? A that freaky thing. Hey, wait, I can't hear the girl sing. So, what do you plan to do once you reclaim your body? Well, that should be obvious. The first thing I'm gonna do is get laid. And then I'm gonna get laid again. Then do some crack and get laid some more. That's what I'm all about. Getting fed. That Jean-Claude Magnum. What a douchebag. I haven't been this disappointed by a talented actor since Christian Bale in Howl's Moving Castle. I want you off the f***ing set, you prick. Are you professional or not? Do I f***ing walk around? Am I gonna walk around and rip your f***ing lights down in the middle of a scene? Then why the f*** are you walking right through? Ah, oh, da-da-da-da like this in the background. What the f*** is it with you?